Having a super pro YouTube studio set up like what you see right now does not have to be complex. So that's why I'm gonna be breaking down what I'm using this year to create YouTube videos. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Corey with Think Media. And I'll be sure to post links down to everything in the description below. And I would encourage you that you don't have to buy what I recommend in this video. You can learn a ton by just learning the principles of how I build out my YouTube studio setup. But let's start with the camera body that I am using. And that is the Sony FX30 with the top XLR handle. This camera combo comes in at $2,200 at the time of shooting this video here in the US. And honestly, the FX30 is probably one of the best cameras for prosumer content creators. And if you just want a camera that's gonna last you years, then this would be the camera to go. Now you can buy this camera without the XLR top handle, but one reason I love it is that I can just plug my audio straight into the camera and then have my high quality audio with my video file, which is saving a lot of time in post. So it's really cool that I can actually simplify my workflow by just getting the proper gear. And so I absolutely love this camera. You can actually also use it as a webcam by literally a plug of a USB-C cable and then use it for your Zoom calls. So the versatility that this camera setup gives you also with the ability to keep it simple, I absolutely love. When you pair this camera with the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens, you get an incredible YouTuber look. It really gives you that nice medium wide shot. But because this camera has incredible autofocus, you can literally set your aperture, which gives you that nice blurry background, to 1.4, and you can trust that you're gonna be in super sharp focus as you create YouTube videos. Now, when getting a setup like this, you definitely wanna get a trustworthy tripod, and the one I recommend is the Ulanzi ombre tripod, I think is how you pronounce it. But literally, this is a $70 tripod that not only is slim, looks cool, and is, like I mentioned, very lightweight. It has a ball head mount, so if you need to just angle your shot to get the perfect level, you can do so. But I actually like to pair their tripod plate with their F38 quick release system. And so with the FX30, you can put a quick release plate on the camera on the bottom, so you can shoot horizontal videos like this. But then you could screw another quick release plate on the side of the camera so that you could turn the camera vertical and start creating YouTube shorts or maybe even Instagram reels and things like that. So that is the camera setup that's producing the image that you see right now. But the audio that you're listening to is the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun mic. This is a condenser microphone that's boomed right out of the shot. And this mic comes in at around $330, but this mic sounds incredible. And like I mentioned earlier, you just run an XLR cable plugged into that mic and then into the camera. In order to boom it out of the shot, you do need a mic stand as well as a couple adapters to be able to screw the mic on. And this boom stand allows me to place the mic right out of the shot and then just pointing at my chest, which is just a good rule of thumb, and it's gonna capture really good audio. But maybe you wanted to get a dynamic mic like the ones that you see when you watch a podcast that's like in the shot. You can literally plug a mic like that directly into this camera as well. So really just the ability to have that XLR input increases the video quality by the ability to increase your audio quality. Now, speaking of audio, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is the music that we use on our channel. And honestly, it's one of the best solutions when it comes to using music and or sound effects on your videos, which really make your videos stand out a lot more and keep your viewers engaged. But you wanna have the full confidence to add whatever song or sound effect you'd like. And Epidemic Sound allows you to do that with their royalty-free library. And we actually put together a really cool offer with our Think Media community. So be sure to check out the link down in the description below or go to thinkmediasounds.com. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Now the next part of the YouTube studio setup is lighting. Now the main light that I'm using to light my face or my key light is the Amaran 100D by Aperture. What I love about this light is it's so easy to use and it's so powerful and puts out a nice soft light, which is what you want if you wanna look flattering. And then I have a lantern modifier and that goes on the light. This lantern really produces a nice large soft light, but I do wanna encourage you to invest into another light and that is what I call a practical or accent light. This is just a light in the background that is more warm and you can use something like a floor lamp you can use a table lamp and put it on the opposite side of the light lighting your face in your shot. It creates kind of just a more welcoming feel in your videos, which kind of just makes it all come together. So that's the YouTube studio setup that I'm using this year. I'm super pleased with the results, but if you wanna check out another video from us here at Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.